Welcome to this uh, little series where I will try step by step to help you out with Wi-Fi issues in your computer. One of the problems that often happens in the uh, computing sphere with laptops and uh, tablets is that Wi-Fi is a problem. It doesn't work well. It disconnects all the time. There's several things that can make your Wi-Fi actually not work well. We're going to have a series now that has several little topics of things to check for. Our first one is the router. So if you've got a router plugged in to your modem, so you might have two little boxes. One is the modem for the internet and the router that actually distributes Wi-Fi. Or some of you might have a modem slash router that's unified into one device. One of the things to know is that sometimes resetting your router is one of the good things to do, first of all, and reprogramming it. For those that have a router, um, an, an, an external router, one of the things you need to know is that your router is accessible by some web address in the address bar of your browser. Mine is 192.168.0.1, which is very, very common, by the way. Uh, sometimes it could be 192.168.1.1 but depending on the router manufacturer, the router you have, it might be different. So this is where maybe looking at the instruction manuals or asking somebody that knows what he's doing to check it out. You should have a entry page like this one where usually the username might be admin and the password is something else. Uh, here I'm trying to remember what I actually put as a password, but I think this it is. There we go. And then you get your router's information. Now, this is very important to understand how to access your router. It's one of the basic things that pretty much anybody that kind of has a, a router Wi-Fi should know at least at the most basic level. You don't have to understand everything that's in the list here, like on the right, left side and everything. Just understanding that your router is something that is accessible. It's like a mini PC. So resetting your router, often there's a little, you know, hole somewhere where you can actually, you know, enter a little pointed object. Um, you can also, or paper clip, you can also, sometimes you need to unplug and, you know, push that little button and then uh, plug it back. But resetting your router is a good thing because it will actually put all, all the perimeters to zero as when you bought it from the manufacturer. And uh, then make sure that you just reconstruct because that's the other part. You'll have to redo your home network Wi-Fi connection. So basically um, go into the Wi-Fi, the wireless side and, uh, you know, just uh, change your details so that you, you know, will have Wi-Fi security and everything. So here you have Wi-Fi security. And basically, uh, you could see my password here that I will change after the, of course, this video. But <laughs> um, this is a, um, a, you know, a way of doing things. Uh, simply putting back, you know, the name of your router. So you'll want WPA2 security. You'll want, of course, in the wireless settings to give your network a name. And you will want to, of course, uh, reprogram these um, both for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz if you have 5 gigahertz also. Very important also to understand that you have possibly two different channels for your router, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And to give you an idea, I've named, named them separately. So if I look at my Wi-Fi connection, you'll see that I have my name here, Kriasson Sub. 5G, then I've named 5G for 5 gigahertz, and under it, we got another one with the same name, but doesn't have 5G. That's for the 2.4 connection. So depending on your machine, you might be connecting to one or the other, but you might also see only one. A lot of computers are N only, so you might see only the N one. So at this point, you would see only Kriasson Tsum. If you're not sure how to do this, if you look at it and it's like, this is really complex, and um, maybe ask one of your buddies, friends, a family member that's good with computers, can you help me reprogram my router, reset and reprogram? Because that's 
one of the first major cause of issues in the uh, Wi-Fi problems. As a tech guy, I would say that uh, half of the problems with Wi-Fi were resolved by just resetting the router, recreating OM networks. And you know what? I suggest that you recreate your OM network with a different name than the one you were using. And uh, of course, a different password if possible, but same password could be okay. But at least a different name so that it doesn't create confusion within your devices that look at the network and say, well, okay, that's the one I connect to, but I can't connect now. Uh, so that's one of the first steps to look at the modem slash router, resetting it, recreating your home network Wi-Fi. Um, that will ensure that your router is up and running well. One last little thing, routers have something called firmware. So when I go to my router, um, you will see here that uh, in going to my router, I have, and let's go back into the router with my really long password. Um, if you go into your router, you will notice at the top it says firmware version. It's very important to check with the manufacturer, is there an updated version of this firmware? That's also something to look at because connectivity problems are sometimes due to the software that's inside your router. And by updating it, well, it might fix a problem. For example, this EC750 router that I have, when I purchased, had bad connectivity. And when I updated the firmware, one of the problems that it did say that it fixed was connectivity issues with some devices. It actually does fix the problem. So where do you get that? Well, you'll get it on the manufacturer's website. So for my router, it's a TP-Link. I'll go typically on the TP-Link website. Whatever model you have, Linksys, um, you know, Cisco, um, you know, Netgear, whatever. There is a page somewhere from that manufacturer that has updated firmware. It's a little file you download. And usually there's a little place somewhere where you can actually update the firmware. For example, here it's uh, system tools in my, in my case, which is firmware upgrade. And there you'll have a little browse button and you click the upgrade button. And it's gonna ask you to actually get that file to update your router. So make sure you got the latest version of the firmware uh, for not just the fact that connectivity issues, but sometimes for security, it's not a bad idea. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know about this and that is a big problem. So that's the router side, things to look at. Um, make sure that you, you know, reset everything. Just start from scratch. That's not a bad idea. Get help from someone that knows what he's doing if you can't do it yourself. And uh, hopefully uh, that first part will help you fix your Wi-Fi issues. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.